Hi, this is Sunil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to instantiate an object or create an object in different ways and also how to access the members of an object using the arrow operator. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, we're going to create a class before our main function. It's going to be class and let's say human and a pair of curly braces and between that curly braces we need to write the properties and methods of a class so first we're gonna write the access specifier so it's gonna be public and then let's create a property let's call it as name and uh, let's create a function called introduce you know which we have done in the previous tutorial the same thing so this introduce is not going to take any parameters and also not going to return any values and here in this introduce we're going to write hi and then we're going to refer our name and let's end this line all right now we have a class definition or a class or the blueprint to create the objects the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create the objects in our program so in the last tutorial I have explained you how to create an object by specifying the class name first that is human and then the name of the object let's say Anil so this is one type of creating an object from a class so when you use this method the object anil will be stored in the stack not in the heap it will be stored in the stack the next way of instantiating an object is using the new keyword so when we use a new keyword the object will be allocated in the heap and it will be dynamic and also the new keyword is going to return the address a memory address that's why we need a pointer of this type class human so i'm going to create human star that's because it's a pointer and then let's give a name bunty bunty and equal to new operator and then the class name that is human and then we need to add a parenthesis pair of parenthesis so in between these parenthesis we can pass the parameters you know which I'm gonna teach you in the next tutorial for now just remember that if you want to create an object dynamically then you guys need to use the new keyword and uh, when we use new it's gonna return the address of the memory that's why we need a pointer and uh, when we use this new keyword the object will be allocated in the heap and when we use this first method the object will be allocated or created in the stack all right the next thing is assigning the values or accessing the properties and the methods of an object to access the properties and the methods of an object when we use the first method we're gonna use the dot operator for example if you wanted to access this property name then we will write anil dot and then name and equal to some value so it's gonna be anil and uh, if you wanted to call this method introduce then we were using anil dot then introduce the next thing is when we use this second method or when we use this new keyword or the new operator to allocate the memory at that time to access the properties and the methods we're gonna use an arrow operator so here this bunty is a pointer which is pointing to an object of type human so if I wanted to access the property name then I need to write bunty the object name then the arrow operator and then the name equal to let's say bunty and then we can call the method introduce by using the arrow operator in the same way so bunty arrow operator introduce then add the semicolon so i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this so you guys can see here we got hi anil hi bunty so so in our programs we can create an object from a class by using two method if we use this first method you know by specifying the class name and the object name then the object created will be stored in the stack and 
and if you use the second method where we use new operator then the object will be stored in the heap and the allocation will be done dynamically and when we use a pointer which is pointing to an object we can use the arrow operator to access the properties and the methods of that object so thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and uh, you guys can like my facebook page and stay updated with the new videos that i'm gonna make and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial